winter surprise. I'm actually not in my truck. I'm in GCN's kitchen today. They've uh, kindly uh, invited me to uh, downtown headquarters to uh, cook a little bit for you. We're gonna make cocktails out of seeds. Today, um, you've actually asked for, you saw uh, a bit um, in my kitchen truck about the, the rye bread, the Ryler's rye bread. Uh, this is the closest thing you get to a Danish rye bread and it tastes so good. Um, it's a nut and seed bread and it's brilliant for digestion, brilliant for uh, eating, it's just brilliant for snacking, it's just a wonderful, wonderful bread. And it tastes so good. And it's super easy to make. So basically, we've, um, we've been out shopping a bit, local health, health food uh, store. We got some uh, sunflower seeds, flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, almonds, pecan nuts and uh, magic ingredient. Chia seeds, we'll talk about that, about what it does and why it's so freaking brilliant. Okay, so this recipe is very forgiving. We're gonna use six eggs and 600 grams of mixed seeds and nuts. I prefer to use um, a little bit more of the smaller seeds because they tend to fill in the small gaps better than uh, the pecan nuts and the almonds. So, first of all to the weighing part. I'm gonna find a scissor, hang on. You need a scissor. So uh, to keep it a little more uh, simple, we're gonna weigh each part up and then add all the ingredients later. So we do 150 grams of uh, sunflower seeds. Excellent. All right. 150 grams of flax seeds, the color of your choice. All right, that should do. They don't go bad, so just save them. If you have some left, don't worry. Put them in a box together and then Use them for next time. If you don't like pumpkin seeds, you can uh, change it out for more sunflower seeds or um, hazelnuts, any other type nut or seed that you uh, prefer to eat. So this one is 100 grams. And then we're down to the nuts. I add, I add nuts because I think it gives it a better texture. You have like more like of a surprise burst of toasted almond or toasted pecan. And it, it gives it a little, a little more edge so it's just not like nuts oh sorry seeds it's um it's a nice little burst of flavor so we want 100 grams of almonds then we want to do we're gonna weigh these together so like that so you have ooh, 200 grams in total of mixed nuts of your choice like that okay so that's your basic uh, ingredients Last but not least, we're gonna do chia seeds. So uh, the brilliant thing about chia seeds is that these seeds are um, obviously uh, vegetarian um, and they have all the amino acids that basically you need to, to rebuild your cells um, in your body. So if you're not eating eggs or any type of uh, animal protein, you should make sure to get some chia seeds because that's actually all you need to, um, to basically survive. And in this recipe, they make sure that the egg um, is kept within the bread and the bread is kept moist. So we're gonna do about two spoonfuls of that, which is the equivalence of, yeah, this, two big spoonfuls, no weight on that one, like that. Now for the mixing part, so you have 600 grams of uh, mixed nuts and seeds, and per 100 grams you have one egg. So crack your eggs open. Egg. You add half a teaspoon of salt. About that. Then you wanna mix the eggs up. So poke a hole in the yolk and then just whisk with a fork. Again, you can use a whisk, a regular whisk if you have one. Equally as easy with a fork. Like that. And then you wanna whisk in olive oil. You wanna use about 50 milliliters of olive oil. So pour in it little by little, like that. I think that's good. All right, so you wanna whisk that in, emulsify it so the, the egg um, and the salt and the oil kind of wow, becomes this uh, homogenous uh, mass. Maybe you wanna clip this in first. Preheat your oven to 160 degrees. You wanna turn on your oven to 160 degrees my favorite tool, the rubber spatula. And then you basically add in your seeds. 
You want to add everything except for the chia seeds. They go in last. And it takes no extra skills to mix this. It's very, very easy. All right, so it's all good and mixed in. We add the chia seeds like that and they suck up a lot of moisture. So you want to mix them in pretty well so they don't sit in little lumps. And you're gonna, you're, right now you're thinking this is never gonna turn into bread. It will, it will eventually. All right, so this is all mixed. It's very runny. It's supposed to be like that, don't worry. Cake pan, this is a non-stick cake pan, so uh, which means we're gonna use it like it is. If you have a regular cake pan, put baking paper in the bottom or else you'll be very, very sad when you have to take out the, the bread from the tin and it's stuck. So either non-stick or baking paper. And then we just pour it in uh, like that. And then we pop it in the oven approximately 50 minutes at 160 degrees. Cool. Time is up. Well, the best way to tell if it's done is you want to you wanna feel that it's very firm. If you take it out after 40 minutes and you feel it's going to be soft in the center, you're going to have a little bit of egg kind of like oozing out of it, soft egg. So when it's firm, like completely firm, it's done. Uh, da -da 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 -da. From like, mm -hmm. or like, oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Uh, which is cheese produced not so far from uh, where Parmesan is produced in the same method. So basically you got more or less the same product.